This is Jim Williams with the Hurricane City Tropical Update for September 27th, 4.30 p.m. We have a new Invest 96L in the Western Caribbean Sea. And here's the close-up map from Hurricane City. Just click on the close-up on the tracking map, and it'll bring this map up, showing you exactly where it is and where it has come from. And the system was an uh, area of low pressure near Guatemala, has moved to the east, and is now approaching the Western Caribbean Sea, where it should start developing overnight and going into tomorrow. We may have a tropical depression forming out here. The hurricane hunters uh, were scheduled for today. I don't know what happened with them, but they did not go out. They must have canceled it and just didn't put it on the website. But here is our area of low pressure right on the coast of Honduras. Now, if we take a look at a close-up visible shot using the NASA satellite image, you can see there's a general rotation right here on the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. In fact, if we uh, show you what's going on here, we have west winds coming out of Belize only about 5 miles an hour. We have northeast winds coming into Cancun and Cozumel. And the areas of lo lowest area pressure, uh, low pressure is right here, here in Punta Allen, Mexico. So there's a general rotation right here on the coast of the Yucatan. This is drifting off to the northeast, and we should see development here coming up over in the overnight hours. All right here are the early models on this, and you can see that the... Uh, usually when you have a new invest, there's only a couple of models running this. We have the BAM model here taking it through the central Bahamas and central Cuba and the LBAR due north towards Apalachicola and probably the, they'll be splitting the difference with the majority of these models taking it towards the state of Florida and that'll be coming up late week. Now, As I mentioned, the hurricane hunters were supposed to be out there this afternoon but uh, looking at the website from the National Hurricane Center on the scheduling of the recon, they still have it scheduled for today, although they are not out there. So I'm assuming they've held off until tomorrow. They're going to be out there again tomorrow afternoon, or schedule it for tomorrow afternoon, and we'll see if we have ourselves a tropical depression and or tropical storm Nicole forming in the Western Caribbean Sea. That's the C-130 aircraft they send out there. They're also going to be sending out the high-altitude aircraft uh, all through the week to measure the sampling and the environment around the developing situation in the Caribbean Sea. And what that does is it figures out where the high pressures are and the low pressures are, and they drop drop zones all over the Atlantic Basin to figure out where this thing could potentially go. So we'll have a lot more data on this. And in tomorrow's Tropical Update video, I'll be able to add some of that data along with uh, some pretty good model data that should start coming in on this system. And we'll be able to figure out which are the best performing models in the whole nine yards on this starting tomorrow. All right, here's the wind shear going out 48 hours, and this is important. This is going out to Wednesday evening, and you can see the aquas and the greens here are windy, indicating we're going to have westerly wind shear around 20 knots uh, when the system would potentially be in this position right here. So it's going to be not all that favorable an environment. There's very warm sea surface temperatures in the Western Caribbean, but you also need upper level support. And I, I believe I, I did uh, save an image of the upper level charts here. I'll show you that in a minute. But they're expecting wind shear in about 48 hours to increase uh, down near Cuba. So this is why the models are a little bit timid in developing a potential hurricane. They're keeping this as a tropical storm moving through Florida and off the eastern seaboard and moving right up like this uh, in front of that trough. Yeah, here is the upper level wind shear, uh, wind uh, shear map from the University of Wisconsin and you can see that uh, we have a high pressure ridge still centered over, over our old tropical storm Matthew over here and that is causing it's stretching a little bit over into the western Caribbean Sea but that's part of the problem there's wind shear out of the west on the front side of this uh, high pressure ridge and that is causing uh, the winds to be out of the west around 20 knots so it's not entirely favorable but Nevertheless, it's enough underneath this high pressure ridge right here where the center is that this should go ahead and develop. But in about 48 hours, that's going to change if it moves off to the northeast. All right, let's take a look at the water vapor loop of the Atlantic Basin. And the system is in the Western Caribbean Sea right on the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. But you can see our trough is really deepening here. Look at this. There's an area of low pressure right here moving toward the east coast. And there's a dip way down like this. And this is going to cause the steering flow to be to the northeast and increasing southwesterly wind shear as this approaches Cuba and the Florida Straits. 
And the National Hurricane Center did indicate that people in Florida should be paying attention to their local news and uh, National Weather Service office for the latest information on developing Tropical Storm Nicole, as this will be impacting the weather in Florida later in the week going into the weekend. Now, there is an indication that after this system moves off to the northeast, there's going to be another area of low pressure that's going to develop, according to the GFS down in here, and that, too, is going to head towards Florida. So Florida might have a double hit scenario coming up here with potentially two tropical storms between now and the middle of next week. So people in Florida need to be aware that they do have tropical systems heading that general direction. They'll, they'll, at the very least, we'll get some bad weather out of this uh, windy, rainy weather in the state of Florida as this moves up and off the eastern seaboard. We also have another area of disturbed weather out here in the Atlantic, but there's dry air kind of surrounding the system, and it's not in the all a favorable situation right now. But the Canadian model still wants to indicate that uh, by late week going into the weekend, we'll see something coming up like this behind our two systems that are going to cut through Florida. So we'll have another system to watch out here in near the eastern Caribbean Sea uh, going into late week, going into the weekend. So a lot to keep track of in the tropics. We'll have a lot more tomorrow's update on this situation as we'll have a lot uh, better model data on this. We'll have the GFDL running on this and the HWARF. Right now we're just relying on the two, the BAM models and the LBAR right now. So uh, we'll wait for the model data to come out, have another update tomorrow afternoon on this situation. That's it for now. Keep track of the latest at Hurricane City uh, using the um, uh, tracking map to get the latest model and close-up on developing Tropical Storm. Nicole, that's it for now. Thank you again for visiting Hurricane City.